What's up, YouTube fam? It's your favorite girl, Jay Shar, coming back to you with yet another reaction video. This reaction video is going to be me listening to the Bill Burr, um, what is it, the Monday Morning Podcast. This one is called I'm 38, She is 19. Many times people like to say age isn't anything but a number, but a huge gap, 38, 19, or yeah, 19, you're almost 40. What, what do a 40 year old and a 19 year old young girl straight out of high school have in common. I just think it's weird and sick, but before I give my total opinion, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and follow your favorite girl on Instagram, at Shara with an H at the end. Let's get into it. All right, I'm 38, she's 19. Oh, Jesus, and pregnant. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn. Jesus Christ. All right. What the when hell? When you were banging her, were you still wearing your high school football jacket that you can't button anymore? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Hey, old Billy Bloodnut. Uh, Josh here from Sydney, Australia. Oh, one of my favorites. He's about to give it to him. I love Australia. I've been there forever. Um, I need the advice of the world's greatest copper wire pubes owner. Well, that would be me. <laughs> um, I'm a 38-year-old man who's been seeing a 19-year-old stunner. Stunner. I'm dead. Um, all right. Well, I don't know what the... Uh, that would be frowned upon here. Right. You know. I mean, people did it. I mean, people always make fun of that shit. All right. I don't know. I don't know how it works over there. All right. Anyway. We met at the gym. I'll never forget the day she walked in. The second I saw her, my heart skipped a beat as she put down her book bag. I'm kidding. My heart skipped a beat, and I froze. Amazing face, fuck me eyes, tiny waist, and a what? flat ass that hips thrust 200 kilograms. Jesus, this guy what is a fuck me fucking eyes. pervert. Creep. Um, I've never had a problem speaking with women, to be honest. I've fucked roughly 1,000 women in my years with a few serious relationships in between. You've had... Wait... Y'all really, y'all really be having intercourse with that many people, a thousand. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good either, but like, hell Serious no. relationships while fucking a thousand. You must've been fucking those women right through those relationships. Uh, okay. I couldn't even say hello to this girl for three months. The whole time I thought she was 26. Um, I changed gyms for a week and every day, all day within that week, I felt like it would be my life's regret if I didn't say hello. I swallowed my fears, probably from building her up in my head that three months, and went back to the gym and finally said to love, hello. Her response was the same as my energy. She had been waiting for me to say hello that whole time. Uh, the next day, we went for dinner and cocktails. I found out she, she was 19, an influencer with over 200,000 followers, pretty good for an Aussie chick, and had yeah. been living between Sydney and L.A. for a couple of years. Needless to say, using the words of the great Dave Chappelle, I beat the pussy up. You know, I got to get, you know, I got to tip my cap to how unfiltered this guy is. <laughs> Murphy's Law <laughs> has it. That she falls pregnant. <laughs> this is... I don't think that's Murphy's Law, buddy. I think that's the law of nature. You <laughs> wear a condom and she's not barren and you fucking bust in her. Yeah, that, that could happen. That's not Murphy's Law, dude. Let's not blame the Irish for this one, too. <laughs> All right, we came to, uh, to the decision not to go through with it. Over the weeks, she went to, to scans... So they can determine dates and when to do the deed. Over the time, at that time, she grew attached to the pregnancy oh by God. seeing the heartbeat. Yeah, and the pictures yeah. exactly, and ultimately decided That's to that. keep it. Mm -mm. Well, good for her. Um, over the weeks, in that meantime, I struggled with the age difference. Oh, now you struggle with the age. Do you have it's fucking struggle when you fucking my main her? right? The my main, main reason... thing is what made you say, "Oh, I thought she was twenty six. Like so specifically, like 
I'm 26. I look 26. I mean, I feel like I look 26, but nowadays you never know, especially with social media. Everyone looks so grown. Like, you have to ask. I feel like he knew she was younger and he didn't want to act, so he just fell through with everything so that they would have like some sort of attachment or they would build some type of like way to um what am i trying to say they would have some type of a uh, excuse or reason as to why this relationship is appropriate which indeed is not and now she's pregnant now you look like a rabbit now you look stupid B, I I look a silly. five year old son to one woman and an 18 year old daughter to another this guy is a fucking piece of work uh, Literally, they're the same age. Your older daughter, yeah, it's the same That's age. That's embarrassing. Uh, Billy Big Balls, what the fuck do Billy I do? Big balls. Well, there's nothing you can do. You gotta because my daughter doesn't know. Well, you gotta tell her. Yeah. I told my besties, and they're they're all like, "Bro, you're the king." Huh? This is just reading like this isn't real. I, I they didn't go like, "Bro, you just fucked your life." Uh, but I feel like a dud and a bad father. Um, I'd say you definitely have some sort of issues. You might want to go to therapy if this no, is No, like seriously. And see you're why a king? you're banging a thousand women and fucking... That's disgusting. You got a five-year-old with this one, an 18-year-old with that one. Now you're going to have one you with lose this 19 year old What? Um, you sound crazy Yeah, though. I would definitely say you got some sort of commitment issues or something. I don't know what, but it's going to cost you. If you were in my country, dude, you'd be fucking broke. Uh, yeah. If my daughter was seeing a dude my age, it would be the last day she saw him alive. That's okay. Disgusting. So, all right. So, so are you acknowledging that you were a bit of a dirtbag here? He's not. Uh, but God he's damn, not. What would a bald, emaciated he Viking thinks it's like cool. yourself do? Uh, I would raise that kid. No. And start wearing a fucking condom is what I would do. Stay I'm blessed, sorry. stay healthy, stay being awesome. Every day, they don't listener, need to, to something they don't need to have that work for years now. Yeah, buddy. Uh, listen, dude, you got to get your dick under control. No, seriously. Your dick is fucking your life up. And he doesn't uh, even realize. You don't have control over it. And your dick is deciding what you're going to do rather than your brain. Because if you looked at all of that on paper, if you talk to the younger you, and I know you love your kids and everything, Okay, didn't you, you wanted to find, I don't think that you wanted to have a bunch of kids with a bunch of different women. Yeah, that's just, um, ghetto. I mean, that makes it really difficult, but I mean, it is your life. So what I would do is I would man up to what you did. I would tell my daughters about it. I'd go to therapy. If you feel, if you agree with what I'm saying, I would start wearing a condom. Um, just and, uh, nasty. And I would try to... Get with women my own age. Yeah. Or within reason. You know what I mean? Maybe like I mean, I'll, I'll at least 30. You thought she was 26, but when you found out she was 19. Maybe even 28. Still, oh, I guess you found her on the day. You still bang her. You bust a nut in her. I mean, those were, you know. He thinks it's cool. the way of saying he thinks really fucking cool. stupid moves. Um, yeah, buddy. What are you doing, man? I'm getting stressed reading this whole fucking thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what it's I was crazy, do. right? He's disgusting. I mean, you just gotta, you gotta say hi. You gotta raise this kid. It's weird. You gotta do. I, I would. He doesn't even think this. Think I don't know it's where weird. You're now soon to be three kids live. I would pick an apartment right in the middle of all of them, and I would dedicate the next twenty years of my life to making sure that five year old and that hell no. Kid, then you gotta um, know he's gonna be. Don't uh, have daddy issues. Definitely so will. they don't go to a gym and bang some 38 year old without a fucking <laughs> No. <laughs> Literally. I cannot believe people put themselves into these situations. Well, specifically this character from Australia, he doesn't seem in the slightest way, he doesn't seem to be scared or nervous because he's jokingly writing to Bill Burr. He's using vulgar language in a way that I feel like he's amused by the situation. The fact that he even brought up like she was so pretty and I just had to talk to her and I thought she was 26 and then the another idea is how he brought his friend's opinion into it. Like you're a king. If he felt any type of way, I really honestly truly think that 
he thought Bill Burr was going to say this was awesome. I feel like Bill Burr should have been offended by that because why would you think, this is just my opinion, but I really think that this man thinks that this relationship was okay. He may or may not want the child, but grow the fuck up. You're not in high school anymore. Date women your age. I just think it's really sick. Like what do you have in common with a 19 year old? I don't even have anything in common with a 19 year old. I would never, I probably wouldn't even date anyone younger than 23. Like I'm 26 and I still feel like uh, 23 is a bit young at this point, but I've dated someone younger than me before, but by two years, like I just feel like, what do I have in common with you? It's weird to me. I'm pretty sure his family, like his parents wouldn't agree with that or whoever the fuck he's hanging out with is obviously weird as hell too. Um, but you are who you hang out with, so shit. That's just how it is. Obviously y'all can tell that I don't agree with that. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Now that girl's pregnant, her, I'm not gonna say that, but I will say I am against having a child at an early age. I'm 26 and I still feel like I am completely unready to have a child. I'm in my prime, I'm young. If you heard the conversations that I have with my friends, I'm totally against having children at this point. Like. I'm absolutely okay with being single, with having no kids. Like, I can't imagine being 19 and being pregnant. Hell no. Anyway, if you enjoyed this reaction, be sure to give me a beautiful thumbs up. If you have any other reaction videos that you wish for me to react to, don't hesitate dropping that down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to everyone ASAP. Other than that, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and follow your favorite girl, Jay Shara. On Instagram, at jshar with an H at the end. You all know that I love you. You love yourself 10 times more. Have a beautiful day or night in this amazing, wonderful world. Ciao.